Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. This is James, and I guess, spoiler alert, I will be talking all the way up to the latest episode of The Walking Dead, episode 21 of season 11. With only three episodes to go, it's almost like, how are they going to fit it all in, and how are they going to have an ending? And because some people are not caught up completely, the AMC watchers versus the AMC Plus watchers, it's hard to talk about some things sometimes, but let's talk about the train. Let's talk about possible alliances. Um, let's talk about CRM, possible connections. Let's talk about designation two. So Lance did say there's certain alliances that could become unraveled a little bit. Maybe he had some connections going on, but it seems like Pamela, if this is the connection that Lance spoke of, Pamela has that connection as well. Maybe Lance just thought he was making it work versus, hey, this could get out of hand if just Pamela was in charge. But it does seem Pamela has the connection if that is a connection to CRM. Whatever designation two is where the train was going that the train conductor pretty much killed himself uh, to not say anything about it. When the guy on the radio heard that, he's like, oh, no. So it must be a really bad place. Is it a work camp? Is it a death camp? Is it a test facility? Is it simply a helicopter that takes you away? But let's go back to why Connie. Okay, Connie was the only one out of all of the group that was destined toward designation two. Well, Pamela is the one that ordered that. Hey, single out Connie when she's finally caught. Send her to designation two. Why? Because there's an old history, of course, that we learned in the show with Connie and Pamela. Pamela's uncle got kicked out of Congress because of some investigative reporting that Connie did, right? And she printed it and boom, he got in trouble. Well, she printed something also in Commonwealth recently and Pamela got in trouble, or at least Sebastian. Sebastian got in trouble. She exposed Sebastian just like she exposed Pamela's uncle. Thus, Pamela was getting some revenge and sending Connie all the way down the tracks. Well, what about the tracks? Let's talk about the railroad a little bit. Alliances. Um, the guy, the train conductor, he said, I'm from a community down the tracks or something, the way I understood it. And we've got numbers like take Outpost 22. Well, it, Commonwealth is number one, maybe. Well, there's 22 others. We only had Alexandria, Oceanside, Hilltop. You know, that's only three. What about all those other communities? And are they all down the railroad track leading to the sea, as Lance said? And, you know, they're clearing the tracks. They may have to repair the tracks here and there, but mostly they're clearing the tracks for the train. So the alliance, could the alliance be with CRM uh, to, hey, we'll help you. We'll give you some supplies to help you clear the tracks because, you know, once all the work is done, maybe we can share the train. Or maybe it's just simply, hey, you keep sending us people to designation two and we'll let you have your little train. But another thing to look at that I question a little bit is, you know, I know Eugene, his offense happened inside Commonwealth, uh, supposedly killed Sebastian. He's going to go on trial. He got arrested. He's going on trial for that. But then she condemned all of his friends as terrorists and they got rounded up and taken to work camps. No trial. Connie didn't get a trial. Pamela made a firm decision on that. But Eugene is a murderer. He murdered my son. He's going to have a trial and he's going to get convicted. And we're going to have to show the people. She needed one person as the one, you know, to say, hey, an example. This kind of stuff is not going to be tolerated. And this is what happens to people that do stuff like that. So don't F with the Miltons. But then we go back to that. We just got three episodes. So how do they tie all of that in and still have an ending? Let's just say we got two episodes. Maybe they got to tie up some endings and, and characters with that last episode, have some reunions, something. So in two episodes, Daryl, Carol, and the rest of them have to not only get to designation two, find out what it is and all that kind of stuff, but then get back to Commonwealth and rescue Eugene and get out of that. It looks like there's a horde of walkers came in, smart variant walkers, climb the walls, that kind of thing. The walkers are inside the walls. They got to save Commonwealth, save their friends, fight off Pamela and all her goons and defeat her. So the designation two thing and the train, they're the closest things as a connection to CRM, if that even is that. 
there's not a lot of time to explore that. Do they even go to designation two because they've already rescued Connie? She's not going there. They don't. Who do they have to rescue? Is that where the kids are? They got to find the kids wherever the kids may be because they know where Negan, Ezekiel, and all those guys are. And it looks like in the next trailer, they infiltrate uh, Alexandria and maybe rescue everyone where then they can go rescue the kids. Then they go back to Alexandria to try to rescue Eugene. They may not even go to Designation 2, which is crazy. And will leave everybody kind of teed off, right? Oh, you'll hear about it in the spinoffs or something. There's just a lot of questions, and that was a lot of rambling from me. So if you made any sense of it whatsoever... Join me down in the comments and we can talk about it just a little bit more. This is James in Nashua. As always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more dead stuff.